Welcome to part 7 of Egg Ras. This time we are going to insert the boundary condition, we are going to develop our hydrograph and we are going to set the parameters for the simulation. Let's open again our ECRAS exercise of the last time and let's open the geometric data. I save the geometric and I close. And now we can see that we have under the geometry our file called Pina diagram. Now I open again RAS mapper. I deactivate the land cover, I put the orthophoto, and I want to put the boundary condition. Under the geometric, I select the boundary condition. I click on edit and I start to draw my boundary condition. Here, more or less, at the level of my sink, I can draw the inflow boundary condition, like that, click twice, I have the first boundary condition called inflow. OK. If I right click on the boundary condition under attribute table, I can see that this has been automatically developed. Boundary condition inflow, the area is pinna digra and it is the connection type internal. For the outflow, I will make an external boundary condition on the same way select boundary condition, edit, take the pencil and draw the boundary condition external. I call it boundary condition outflow. I can save. Yes. And I can save my RAS mapper and I quit RAS mapper. Now if I open my geometric data, I can see that I have the boundary condition here and the boundary condition here. I save my geometric data and I close. Now is to insert the unsteady flow data. For that you click on this icon and here automatically you can see this interface where you have the two boundary conditions inflow and outflow. For the inflow, we have to give the flow hydrograph. And here we have to insert our flow data at the elevation of the sink. And we have this flow data calculated previously with the software Egg HMS. I can collect it. It was an Excel file. Just I want to make a note. When I was testing this software, I have realized that the flow during the dry period of one cubic meter per second was estimated a little bit too much and the result was not really realistic. Therefore, I have changed it, this estimation here, like you see, to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 cubic meter per second is a much more realistic estimation. So my flow start with 0 0.5 cubic meter per second go up to maximum 546 cubic meter per second and then it goes down back to 0 0.5. So I copy this column and I insert the column here. In my hydrograph I have 10 minutes interval. I put 10 minutes and then also I have a different start time. Here I start on the 2nd of October so here I can write fixed start time October 2nd of October 2020 and starting time it is 10 minutes. Now you can see 2nd of October at 10 minutes it will start. We can plot the data and this is important to see if the data is fine and you can see that the plotted data is similar to the Excel plotted data. That's fine. 
In case that you don't have a precise hydrograph, you can interpolate the missing value by clicking these icons. We don't do it now because it is not needed. You can give a file name or description. That's it. And here you need to give the energy slope. To estimate the energy slope at the boundary condition for the inflow, you can do it like we have seen in previous chapters with Global Mapper, but as well you can do it directly with ECRAS. Open again ECRAS, go at the boundary condition, inflow, take the measurement tool, measure this part, for example, click twice, and here you can see line 31 meter and slope 0 0.032. It means the energy slope correspond more or less to the slope of the ground. I go back on my hydrograph and I type here 0 0.032 and OK. This is now the flow hydrograph for the boundary condition inflow and for the boundary condition outflow we don't need an hydrograph, we, we just need the normal depth. Clicking on normal depth you get this interface and there you have to insert again the energy slope which corresponds more or less to the slope of the terrain. On the same way you go to the boundary condition outflow You take the measurement tool, you do the same, and you see the slope is 0.018. It means here we can write 0.18. Okay, we have it. We can save now the unsteady flow data. Okay, we can give a description and we can close. At this point, we save our RAS mapper as well, we close it and we can run the analysis. Perform an unsteady flow data simulation. In the next chapter, we are going to run the analysis. Thank you very much for listening.